Hi, my name is Hannah Kane, and I'm the state representative for Shrewsbury and a portion of Westboro. I've lived in Shrewsbury for 24 years. My husband Jim and I moved here um, and we had three children. Uh, two are now in college and our son is still in high school. I grew up in Maine um, and I was profoundly impacted by my grandparents growing up. Uh, they were people who had gone through some difficult times in their lives and yet uh, they were committed to serving the community uh, through youth sports and civics groups uh, in our church um, and in anywhere really that they could lend a helping hand. My parents were both educators and they too were very involved in the community. Um, and so for me growing up, uh, my first foundational reason to get involved in public service is because I witnessed my parents and my grandparents being such active members of their community. Um, and then I was also uh, deeply engaged in reading as a youth. Um, I spent as much time as I could reading. Uh, my grandmothers would take me to the library along with my mother and I had an aunt and uncle who were librarians. Um, and they were always introducing us to new authors and new books. Uh, but one of my very favorite books growing up um, and a book that to this day I refer to a lot is called Patriots in Petticoats. Uh, and this book uh, was actually a collection of stories about American women um, who were usually disguised as men who played a vital role uh, in the bitter fight for our country's independence, uh, spanning the time from the Revolutionary War to the War of 1812. Um, I would spend hours imagining myself um, as one of these women and thinking about uh, would I have had the, the fortitude uh, and the strength of character to do what they did. Uh, and they were really, for me, another foundational aspect of seeing women in action. Uh, and certainly back in the uh, 1700s and early 1800s, uh, what these women did in order to uh, be a part of uh, improving the outlook for our fledgling young country uh, was really remarkable. Um, and the imprint of what they did has stayed with me my whole life. I was also fortunate growing up to be able to spend some time in the Maine State House. Uh, friends of our family, uh, the father was a minority leader and he would take me uh, when I was in fifth and sixth grade along with his daughter who was my same age uh, to the state house and we would serve as pages. We would essentially uh, run notes and things back and forth between legislators in the house chamber or we might run back to their office and get something that they wanted. Uh, and again, for me, it was a really uh, formulative period of time where I was uh, at a young age inside uh, the legislature and watching uh, where the decisions are made on policy that would impact uh, the residents of Maine. And in addition to being inspired uh, by that, I was also always inspired by Margaret Chase Smith. Uh, she was the US Senator when I was born in 1971, um, and she had actually been the first woman ever to be elected to serve in both the US House of Rep Representatives and the US Senate. Um, she was uh, in elected office uh, largely because her husband had been the US Representative, um, and he had gotten sick and had stepped down and, and then passed away soon after and she ran for the seat uh, and ran to serve. And she served from 1940 to 1949 in the House of Representatives, and then she served in the US Senate from 1949 to 1973. Um, she was a moderate Republican, and she was very brave. She oftentimes broke rank with her party. Uh, again, uh, it was very unique to have a woman uh, serving in this level of office, but it was also even more unique to have somebody who was so uh, devoted to what they believed was the right thing to do, that they didn't care what their party thought about it. Um, and for me, that was again another moment when I realized it's really um, serving people is about doing the right thing. And it doesn't matter who might tell you it might be the wrong thing, but if you have the courage of your convictions, uh, then you will all be, be led to the right place. So Margaret Chase Smith is another person who I have tried to read everything I could on, uh, many different books, from books geared to me when I was a child about her to books that I read now uh, that I find uh, very inspiring. And um, you know what I think is most important uh, is actually just reading in general. Uh, so I take every opportunity to read um, whatever I can get my hands on, from news of the day to biographies, uh, to pieces that are written about policy issues that I might be thinking about or acting on. Um, reading has continued to inspire me my entire life, um, and it is the thing that I find to be most relaxing as well. I love to curl up with a good book or sit out in the sun and read. So I'm very grateful to the Shrewsbury Public Library uh, for putting forward this forum uh, in celebrating uh, Women's History Month. Um, and I am grateful for the opportunity to share with you a little bit more about 
uh, what first galvanized me uh, to be interested in public service um, and share my love of the book Patriots in Petticoats, um, as well as Margaret Chase Smith, um, who is somebody who I would encourage you uh, to look her up and see how amazing she was at a period of time when there were hardly any other uh, women in public service. Thank you.